It is just so quiet and peaceful here. That is one of my favorite things about this Idlewild community, this little mountain town about an hour away from Palm Desert. This is the quickest getaway from the scorching desert heat. And today we are gonna talk about the pros and cons of this little mountain city. Let's get started. can be compared to a picturesque mountain town making waves in the natural beauty and artistic vibes and community spirit. But is it the perfect place for you to call home? Let's get started with the pros of living in Idlewild. So Idlewild is a place that literally oozes warmth and charm. With a unique mix of log cabins, cozy cottages, and modern houses, the architecture itself feels like a warm embrace. Plus, the community here is tight-knit, like a big family reunion. I'm telling you, it's no joke. Everyone knows everyone by their first name, especially if you live here full-time. It's also no wonder you'll find folks strolling around with their furry companions. This town is all about pet-friendly life, which is one of my favorite things because bringing my pups here is always a fun time. One of my ultimate favorite things to do is driving around looking at the different types of housing here. You have some older cabins built in the 40s, some log cabins, a-frame homes, which are awesome and beautiful, one of the most expensive ones, and newer homes as well. You can really find anything you're looking for. So next we're going to dive in, into the artistic side of Idlewild. This place is a veritable hotbed of creativity. Art galleries, check. Music festivals, check. Theaters showcasing local talent, you bet. And if you're an aspiring artist or writer, this is your playground. Writing groups, poetry slams, and open mic nights. Absolutely. The trees are alive with the sound of music. Oh, and really quick, if this is your first time to my channel, you could be surprised to see a desert girl in the mountains. So you'll be shocked to know that I've actually used to live in the mountain center area. So I know this area very well. My team in total knows the ins and outs. So be sure to shoot me a message, call me, send a pigeon carrier because we have your back and we would love to chat with you if you're maybe thinking about moving to the Idlewild area or purchasing a second home. This is absolutely a hotbed for second home buyers. Now hold on to your hats, folks, because we are about to talk about nature. Idlewild is nestled snugly in the San Jacinto Mountains, and trust me, it's a nature lover's paradise. Hiking trails galore, camping spots that'll take your breath away, and rock climbing that's, well, rock solid. They have parks, they don't really have a big lake, they do have a lake Fullmore that's fairly close by, and also Lake Hemet. Also, you have a little creek that goes through the town as well and some of the homes actually have a little creek in their backyard and we call it Strawberry Creek. And don't even get me started on the Idlewild Nature Center. It's like Mother Nature's classroom. This is the perfect place to bring the kiddos because the nature walks are short and sweet and full of educational information about the local wildlife and if you're lucky you'll even run into some like we did recently. This little deer was so cute. But wait, there's more. If you're looking for a slower pace of life, look no further. Idlewild is all about savoring the simple pleasures. The natural beauty and artistic vibes create a tranquil atmosphere that's as calming as a cup of chamomile tea. And being away from the hustle and bustle of big cities, it's your peaceful oasis up here. That's why most people come here. They wanna break from the chaotic city life and wanna be closer to nature and enjoy the cool, clean, crisp air. Just remember, you could be surprised to find out that you could be a little bit sleepier in this mountain air. And it could be because of the elevation. We'll talk about that shortly. Next up, let's talk about community. With a little over 3,000 homes and about 3,000 residents, it's a town where typically everyone knows everyone. It's like living in one big welcoming family. Community events like the annual jazz festival are the glue that holds everyone together. Pints in the Pines is, say that five times fast. Pints in the Pines is another well-known event where artists, beer lovers, and furry companions all come together to support local nonprofits. It's called a celebration of mountain life, live art, music, food, and fun. They'll build relationships here that'll last a lifetime because it's such a small community. All right, so now we gotta balance the scales a little bit and talk about the cons. For all its charm, Idlewild is a bit isolated. It's nestled in the mountains, which can make getting around to other cities a bit of a trek. The nearest big cities are Palm Springs and Hemet, which are about an hour away. And if you're a social butterfly, you might find it a tad challenging to find a bustling nightlife scene here. 
the town goes to sleep early around here because it gets cold fairly early. But remember, it's all about what you value most. And just so you know, if you are looking for something that's a little bit more nightlife, this is one of the greatest places to go to. This is the Idlewild Brew Pub, great bar food. They have great beer like on tap. They brew their own beer here. So this is a great spot to come and check out. They're open somewhat late. I've been here as late as like 9, 10 o'clock, but it usually dies down about 9.30. Absolutely have to check out the Buffalo cauliflower. Oh my God, amazing. Big hospitals and chain grocery stores are going to be about an hour drive away. So keep that in mind when looking here. The town does have a local health center, but it's not a hospital or an urgent care. So now let's talk about the weather. The weather in Idlewild can be a bright spot, especially during the summer months. This charming mountain town offers a delightful escape from the scorching Southern California heat. Got a friend. The squirrels here are huge. Talk about well-fed little animals. <laughs> so average temperatures in the summer hover in the comfortable mid 70s to low 90s Fahrenheit. <laughs> it's the perfect time to explore the picturesque hiking trails, attend local festivals, or simply relax amidst the natural beauty. Natural beauty. <laughs> it looks so much better in person. This is Takwitz Peak. Now, when winter rolls around, Idlewild transforms into a snowy wonderland, which can be a challenge to navigate. It's also important to note that not all of Idlewild is treated the same when it comes to weather and snowfall. I'm taking a seat. <laughs> Pine Cove will actually receive more snowfall than Idlewild because Pine Cove is a tad higher in elevation at 6,000 feet and Idlewild is about 5,000 feet. The town experiences a generous dusting of snow with an average annual snowfall of around 11 inches. It's honestly a sight straight out of a winter postcard where the landscape takes on a magical snow covered charm. Winter enthusiasts can embrace the season with activity and cozying up by the fireplace in one of the town's charming cabins or maybe your own cabin. But keep in mind, especially when looking to live here full time of the spot your future home is in because it's important to know if that road is snow plowed or not. It is a common practice that homeowners on private non-county maintained roads pitch in together to have a road plowed by a local worker. So these things are really things that you would know if you were to work with local agents, which is what I am, which my team is. So if you're really looking to purchase a second home out here, full-time home, what have you, we have your back. So you're just gonna have to reach out to us. We know the ins and outs of this area. We love it here. We know what you need to know when purchasing homes up here. So give us a call, shoot us a text, send me an email, whatever. Maybe even send a squirrel. The squirrels seem pretty fit around here. All right, folks, we'll see you on the next one.